Hello, my name is Donna, Donna Ockenden, and I'm speaking to you today for the final time as the Chair of the Independent Review of Maternity Services at the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospitals NHS Trust. This review has been the culmination of many years' work by my team and myself, a team that includes midwives and doctors from NHS Trusts all over England, from Plymouth in the southwest to Leeds in the north. They have been supported by an administration team who have often been the first point of contact for families. Firstly, I hope I speak on behalf of all of you when I offer my heartfelt thanks to my team, who have been alongside me every step of the way, lending their expertise in all areas of the case inquiry, report writing and publication processes. Since the review started, we have had more than 90 midwives and doctors working within the review, ensuring that our report, your report, is underpinned by multiple hundreds of years of combined midwifery and medical expertise in delivering safe maternity care. Truly, everything we did couldn't have been achieved without them, and I will always be so grateful to my team. Secondly, I know that I speak on behalf of my team when I offer my heartfelt thanks to you, the Review families. Thank you for your patience, your courage and your support. Your cooperation with us and trust of us at all stages of this review has meant the world to us and without this continuing support from you all, we couldn't have achieved what we have achieved. What has happened to you and your families your babies, your daughters, sisters and partners really does matter. And those experiences and your bravery in coming forward will ensure safer maternity care for all, now and in the future. As you know, a key part of this review was identifying not only causes for concern, but ways in which those concerns could be addressed. Overall, we identified four key pillars to drive forward improvements in maternity safety at the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital NHS Trust and all other trusts across England providing maternity care. These are safe staffing levels properly funded, a well-trained workforce, learning from incidents and listening to families. As you will also know, the day that our report was published, the Right Honourable Sajid Javid MP, Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, stood up in the House of Commons and accepted all of our report findings without hesitation. The week before our report was published, NHS England pledged a further £127 million funding boost to bolster the maternity workforce. This was in addition to the £95 million already pledged as a result of our first report published in December 2020. My team and I have been so delighted with the support shown by NHS England, the Department of Health and of course the Secretary of State. In addition to this funding, the Government has also now begun the process of creating a working group comprised of members from both the Royal College of Midwives and the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists. This is independent of the Maternity Transformation Programme, or MTP, already in operation, and is to advise the MTP regarding the immediate and essential actions as set out in our report and other forthcoming reports. Overall, we identified that the Trust had more than 60 local actions for learning arising from our final report. The review team examined every area of maternity care at the Trust, including antenatal, intrapartum, postnatal, neonatal, mothers who have died and obstetric anaesthesia and found that improvements were needed with staffing levels, training, investigations and learning, as well as listening to families. In addition at the Trust, we raised concerns regarding the governance of maternity services, as well as how it supported families, particularly those bereaved. Just a few of these local actions for learning, as outlined in our report, were as follows. 
Incidents must be graded appropriately with the level of harm recorded as the level of harm the patient actually suffered. Correct investigation processes, procedures and terminology must be used in line with the relevant serious incident framework. All investigations must be undertaken by a multi-professional team of investigators and never by one individual or a single profession. In view of the relatively high number of direct maternal deaths, the Trust's current mandatory multidisciplinary team training for common obstetric emergencies must be reviewed in partnership with a neighbouring tertiary unit to ensure they are fit for purpose. The Trust must adopt a consistent and systematic approach to risk assessment at booking and throughout pregnancy to ensure women are supported effectively and referred to specialist services where required. All clinicians at the Trust must work towards establishing a compassionate culture where staff learn together rather than apportioning blame. In addition, staff must be encouraged to speak out when they have concerns about care. Of course, we recognise that many of the issues we raised in the final report are not unique to Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital NHS Trust and have been highlighted in national reports into maternity services in recent years. Therefore, as you will know, the review team also identified 15 immediate and essential actions which we said should be implemented by all trusts in England providing maternity services. These were based on workforce funding, planning and sustainability, safe staffing, escalation and accountability, leadership, investigation of incidents and complaints handling, learning from the deaths of mothers, multidisciplinary training, complex antenatal care, preterm birth, labour and birth at term, obstetric anaesthesia, postnatal care, bereavement care, neonatal care and supporting families. As a result of the review, we now know that many trusts across England have already begun engaging with the recommendations outlined in the report with hospitals from London to Liverpool to Devon and so many in between already putting the 15 immediate and essential actions into practice. What is most heartening is seeing so many examples of maternity teams, quite literally from ward to trust board, actively engaging in the process to make maternity services across England safer for all those who use them now and in the future. So to you, the families, once again, thank you. I can truly say that it has been the honour of my life to lead this review. I began this review with just 23 of you and ended it with more than 1,500 families. Safer maternity care is at the heart of everything I have ever done across my whole career and this independent review was no different. I honestly believe that as a result of this review, maternity care across England will be safer and trusts will be inspired to do better with families getting the compassionate care that they deserve and it is all thanks to you. I hope that you can all see as clearly as I do that this review is your legacy, the legacy of each and every one of you watching this today your tenacity, courage and support will always be remembered and will not be forgotten. And so, for the final time, thank you very much for listening today and goodbye. I want to say that Donna Auken, when I first met her all those years ago, promised me that if there was something within maternity at South, that she would find it, and she did. We were asked to stand 
um, as 23 families in order for this review uh, to go together. It was a hard choice, but we knew that we had to do it and we had to do it to ensure this time our voices were heard. For 19 years, I was alone until I met one of the first mums. And that was just, it was like a weight taken off my shoulders that someone else I talked to understood how I felt. I didn't have to explain anything. They just knew how we felt. Finding out that there were so many other families was a devastating blow to us. It was bad enough that we were a single case. It's a strange feeling, there's the horror of the sheer quantity, but then there is that sort of feeling of belonging as well. It was so reassuring to find out that this wasn't just another investigation. It's not a minority, it's, there's quite a significant number of people going through the same trauma really. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of my family for standing, but I am proud of all the families. Um, like I've said before, every story's had an impact on this, every single story, and they should be proud because it does take courage and it does take strength to come forward and continually repeat a heartache that's there all the time and to keep going over that is, is, is very difficult. But they did it and each one of them stories it's what's made this review what it is. To be heard as a father is incredibly important to me because obviously it's horrendous for the wife and the, the partner uh, giving birth. It's utterly horrendous. Uh, but on the side as a father, you're getting mixed emotions because obviously you're going through losing your child, which is horrendous. You're seeing what's happening to your wife and you can't do anything about it. And so this whole process, I think what it's done is it's shown as a father, it, you know, A, you've got a platform, which I think is incredibly important, and B, it is okay to speak, you know. My hope is for change and that these changes keep happening and that there's less people like ourselves in this position. To know that the community can go into the hospital and use it and feel safe and know that best practice is being used, being integrated, that the whole hospital is being lifted up is more than we could have ever, ever dreamed of. It, it is a dream come true because I can't change what's happened in the past. And I don't think that we would have been able to, by ourselves, been able to achieve what's been achieved if it wasn't for Donna and the team and the hard work and effort that has gone into the whole process. It's amazing that this level of change will come from from Donna's report and the fact that it's been rolled out across the country I think is really important. It's, it's just such a huge legacy for the families, the babies, the mothers, those that have been harmed and, and Donna her, uh, and her team because their amazing work is just, it's, it's blown us away how, how she's put us all at the centre of it. I am honoured that they asked us to stand. I'm honoured that those families asked us to stand and I'm honoured that Donna and her team asked us to stand and supported us all the way through. And that's, I can't thank them enough.